Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We got a lot of stuff here. Um, so on Wednesday, I shared with you my mid-year updated planner lineup. Um, and today we are going to move into these planners um, and get them set up. So we actually have a lot of setting up to do. Um, we're gonna do monthly spreads in three planners, but it's actually like five or six monthly spreads total um ish and i'll show you why as we get going but the first thing we have to do is actually build a planner because as i mentioned in my um lineup video <clears throat> For my catch-all for the second half of the year, I'm using a planner that um, is entirely DIY'd. So I think we're gonna start with that and um, move on from there. This might be the longest video in the world, um, but I hope that you'll stay tuned. Okay, so when I said that everything was DIY in this planner, I meant it uh, right down to the covers. Um, so I decided to go, I wanted to do something sort of yellow and fun for summer. Um, and I decided just to put my channel and store name on here. Um, I had actually, I'll start putting the discs on um, while I'm telling the story. I had actually planned to foil um, the lettering in gold foil but um i had like 14 printer mishaps while i was uh printing this cover and um it just uh, eventually what happened was that i accidentally printed the whole design with the inkjet when i intended to print this with the inkjet and then the writing with the laser so that it could be foiled and by that point i had already gone through a whole bunch of papers um, and that cardstock isn't the cheapest thing, so I just decided to go with it, um, with the, the yellow and black. I don't hate it, it matches, it pulls sort of more black in with the yellow discs, and that's fine. So basically, it's just plain yellow on the inside, and the back cover has this little logo here, um, which I, I wasn't sure about, but then I decided it kind of looks like a bunny tail on the back of the planner, and I'm kind of okay with that. There we go. Okay, so um, let's get this planner put together. So the first thing that I have are the monthly layouts. So these are A5 wide inserts. Um, just gonna stick them in here. I printed three months to start. Um, because I do want to make sure that I've sized them correctly and that um, this is the, the layout that I want to go with and then I can print more. Um, so I do have the beginning of the fourth month, but if I need to, I can alter that a little bit. Then we have our weekly layout. So what I have created here, I'll put it in here and then I'll show you and there's another bit to add in as well. So I've got a month of weeklies here, um, and what that looks like is that each week looks like this. This is for all of my filming. In the lineup video, um, I think these weren't there. I did modify this a little bit just to leave more space. No, I don't film 12 videos a week, um, but I use, I use this checklist to, um, keep me up to date on where I am for videos for the current week and then also if I'm filming ahead for the next week. This is just blank, I'll use that for different things. So we've got a whole bunch of weeks here. I think I printed enough for the month. And then because this is a Dutch door planner, we've got a set of daily inserts to add here. So I did a flip through of this in the other video, but they just go there and then the end of the week and we flip and then I've got another one. I only printed two weeks worth of these so far because I want to wait and see how it goes if there are any changes that I wanna to make to it. The last section that I'm going to add today is um, another monthly section um, and the reason for that is that the first monthly section which is the month on two page view is just gonna be my catch-all this is gonna be my YouTube planning 
so I will plan ahead with my YouTube videos in here. So I've done six months because they're month on one pages so that I can plan ahead and look ahead to see what's happening. But that um, is what this section will be for. Okay, and then I've got some dividers. So these are made from uh, laminate. Um, they are a little bit wonky because I um, had to sort of half cut them by hand um, and I didn't do that all that well. But um, I like these clear dividers because I like to be able to see the page that I'm on when I turn to it. Or if it's a weekly view, I like to be able to see both sides. So I'm gonna put one here for YouTube and then we'll go here so we are at the beginning of I think this is the first week yeah beginning of the first week so we'll put this in here and then so you can see that now you can see both sides like so you can still see the whole um, spread even with the divider in okay and then we're gonna come here and I have the monthly. And then um, this one says plan ahead. Uh, I'm gonna put it here for now. It's gonna go in the beginning and then I'm going to add um, some of those like strips, you know, the columns for the year at a glance. I'm gonna add those there. Okay, and then at the very back, I have, what did I do with it? Okay, at the very back I have this old um, divider from uh, my Happy Planner. Um, I'm just gonna put this in here, it says notes on it. I'm just gonna leave that there for now because I don't have another one sort of for the top. And then I have some A5 wide note inserts here. I'm gonna put those there and then the last thing that I'm gonna add is um, this is a kind of janky folder that I made for um, in the happy planner as well I'm just gonna stick that in here um, because I like to keep my current week's sticker kits um, in the um, like in the actual planner so this is what it looks like so far. These discs are gonna get really, really full really quickly. I may end up, these are like micro, micro discs. I think they're 18 millimeters across. I may end up having to switch um, them out for like mini happy planner size discs, but for now I'm going to um, leave them on here because I really like the, the little, um, like the tiny discs. So now when we open, we don't have anything in the plan ahead section. We have our monthly views. We have our weekly and daily inserts for July. And then we have the YouTube section. And then the note section at the back here. So I love how clean and crisp this looks. Um, I'm really liking this sort of minimal, minimalist view. Um, so I'm hoping that it's gonna work well for me. So next step is to decorate the monthly pages. So we are going to, whoops, pull these out and we'll put this aside. So for my, um, a5 wide monthly kit. I am using, um, this is just called July EC uh, by Planner Pixie Co, but it is the, I think it's the summer nights theme. Um, and it is so super cute. Um, as always, I did modify it so that mine is a Monday start um, because it doesn't actually come that way. But, uh, and I also had to add this sort of extra box here because the first is a Wednesday. Um, but other than that, it is the pretty standard kit. Some full boxes. Did I know? Oh yeah, I did print. Um, I just printed some extra ones of these. And then there's two sidebar options, which I always use the decorative um, option, but this month I might not. I've got a lot to do this month. I might need the space. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started. So this is where the, we're going to have the true test of whether or not I sized these inserts properly. Um, 
I think I may start with this one because it is smaller. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see that it's a little bit taller than I measured for. Which is funny because I actually thought I had used her kits um, to measure. But that's okay. I can trim off a little bit at the top. Does it go all the way from one? Yes. All right. So it is a bit of a change to go back to discs after having a coil bound. Um, I do, I mean, I've always, I always liked the versatility of the, of the discs, um, but I definitely got used to the coil and I liked having it sort of, I don't know, it, you know how if you get an Android phone, you can do like whatever you want with it. You can sort of like change the coding and all of that stuff. Um, whereas if you get an iPhone, it's kind of cookie cutter. So I like that. <laughs> Um, even though I am fine with technology, um, I still, I still do like that. So, uh, this, this is a bit, the, the disc bound is a little bit more like, um, like having an Android phone where everything is sort of, uh, up for grabs. We're already crooked. Okay, not too bad. I this is why I only printed three months so that I can fix them, these little things. All right. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, I'm going to date this off camera because I don't want to take up 9,000 hours of video doing that. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay, got my date dots down. Um, now I'm just looking at these. I mean, I do love the way this looks. I just, I don't know. I have, I have some goals for the months, you guys. It's just that this is so flippin' colorful. I wonder if I could do my goals in here. I think I'm gonna do that because I really wanna use this decorative box. All right. Moment of truth for this one as well. I also, I know why. Um, oh, that's perfect. I know why this is a little bit taller and I also know why these boxes don't quite match up. It's because they were made for um, that planner which shall no longer be named on this channel. <laughs> uh, and in that planner, I'm sure you all know, the stickers, like the boxes are let me start that again. When you put a sticker down in that planner, it goes right from one um, side of the line to like the, it's, it's almost on the outside of the line, right? And I don't super love that look. So I made my boxes like the full, that's a full, I think it's 1.5 inches. Um, there oh my goodness that is adorable also can i just say that went down more easily than any time i ever tried to put one in that other planner <laughs> okay now let's get ourselves a little bit organized here so oh i do have okay i thought i only had four bill payment stickers and i definitely needed more than that all right so it is kind of a 
busy start to the month because it's Canada Day, which I'm just going to write in there because I don't want to put like a whole, I would have put a full day there, but, um, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to ruin it. So just going to mark that in pen up there. But I do have quite a bit to mark, actually, now that I've said that. I might change that a little bit. So here's the thing. On the first, I have payday, which if I was being paid by a Canadian company, wouldn't come till the, uh, sorry, it would come this day. But it's an American company, so it's going to come this day regardless. The thing is that I don't know when it's going to go into the bank and I feel like it won't be until that day but we do have rent due on this day so I'm gonna mark that down and I guess I'll put I'm pretty sure the last time I got paid it was also on a um, like a holiday technically and it did or it might have just been like a Sunday or something and it did go in that day so I am gonna mark that down where are my paydays here we go so payday there Maybe I'll go in and put all the paydays in Okay, so then the other thing that happens this week, and really the only other thing that I need to mark down, is that my daughter's going to be at her mom's for this week and this week. So since she actually goes, like, the Saturday before this starts, I'm just going to mark it. I don't want to mark it all across here, so I'll mark it here and then here with some washi. And you might think that it would just be easier to mark the weeks that she's here. Um, and it probably would be the reason, or it would make more sense. Um, the reason that I didn't is that um, she had been with us for like eight or ten weeks, I think, um, straight during the, like, uh, while well, we've been in quarantine and um, it was more unusual for her to be away than it was for her to be here I mean it's it's never unusual for her to be here she's <laughs> even when the world is normal uh, she's here um, like she lives here 50% of the time and she comes here every day after school, when school was a thing. Um, so it's it's still sort of more noteworthy for me to note when she's away than when she's actually here, if that makes sense. Okay, I wanna take a box to not that color though, I don't think a lot of that color right around there. Maybe this one to mark that she is at her mom's. Oops, not there, here. Okay. And then again down here, and I'll use the blue one for that. Okay, I think I'm going to go in and put the bill due stickers on the days that I know I have bills due. So, they're always at the beginning of the week for some reason. I mean, I guess Thursday is not really the beginning of the week, and this side does go till then. Uh, so I've got rent. So we've one on the 9th. So 
So this half of the spread is going to look a lot more done than this half. Okay, now I think we can go day by day. I've got the biggest stuff down. So the 8th is the first time, the first day in July that I actually have anything to mark down. And it is my brother's birthday. So let's put down a sticker. And then I've got these little presents that there. I don't know if we can or will be doing anything, but I'm going to mark that there. Um, and on the 10th, I have to order dog food, um, which I don't, but our dog also has a grooming appointment. So let me put down the sticker for the grooming appointment. And there is a little dog paw here. So just put that there. And then I think, so I have these, I'm going to use these in my, um, skinny classic, but um, I'm just going to grab that to put there to mark um, ordering dog food. The 16th is my uncle's birthday. So let's do, let's do this one. And let's pull this box here. Okay, on the 18th is when I'm going to have my September budget kit releases. So, oh, this literally doesn't have a top cut line. <laughs> okay, we'll use this one. I printed the full boxes, but I don't think I actually have any full boxes. Like full box days, sort of, to, that I would need it for. The only day off in July is this one. Um, but while I'm thinking about it, I will add a little day off uh, sticker because it is the holiday. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing except the bills. Um, and then I have to order dog food again this day. So I'm just going to use another one of these and mark that down. I don't know whose dog is barking outside. And then the 25th is our dog Cricket's birthday. So let's put down. Actually, why don't we use this one? Get some more blue in here. So let's put in that it's Cricket's birthday. On the 25th, where are my little presents here? They are. And she'll be turning nine. Yeah, nine. Crazy. Oh, I wanted to mark my goals. That's, oh, that's what I can use these for. So let's put this one here. And this will be interesting to see if I sized these boxes right, which it looks like I almost did, but not quite. Oh dear. Oh, it's not actually that bad. Oh, you know what? I just thought of two things I didn't mark down. This is also a deadline day for me. Let me see if I can move. I actually have two deadlines in July. I'm just gonna move that down. And then I think I'll just add another one here. Okay, uh, so in here I'm gonna put goals. Let's 
bothering me a little bit that this is crooked, but I'm going to try to ignore it. Okay, uh, goals there, and then I think I'll leave it like that for now. I may expand and put another box here, but we'll wait and see. So, okay. So there we go, that is the base of the monthly spread for July in here. Okay, the next thing that we wanna do um, is go here, and I'm gonna pull this page out, and I'll put that over here, and that is what I'm going to use these date dots for. Now, these I know I've made really too big, <laughs> for the spread that they're on. Um, I am okay with it for this month. I'll modify it for next month. I also knew that I wasn't going to be adding tons of like color and decoration in here. So I was okay with having the date dots be a little bit bigger um, just cause they add. Um, they do add a pop of color. So, this is going to be where I track and plan my YouTube videos. Um, and I may end up planning ahead a little bit in this one, but um, for now we'll do one month and oops, see where we get. Um, you might be wondering why I'm planning my YouTube videos in here and not in my skinny classic, which is where I am planning for Etsy and other business stuff. Um, I consider like so much of what I do during the week is YouTube related that, um, that for me it just made sense to have all of that like my YouTube and my catch-all in one as well as more space because the skinny classic is a small planner um, having said that if I find that I think I want a sort of all the business stuff together then I'll move it I'll move it over and um, come up with a new set up for it but I'm hoping that this will work okay and then what I want to use these dots for is to mark down the days that I actually have videos scheduled Okay, that's all we're gonna mark in this calendar. I will go in and fill in the videos and stuff afterwards off camera. Um, I'm still sort of figuring some of those out. So let's put you back in here. And then we are done with this planner. And now I know the light shining on that, but now I can see even with the um, divider in what days I've got stuff going on on YouTube. All right, let's do um, my daughter's memory keeper next. I am using a kit by Caffeinated Kate. Um, I printed the wrong month. <laughs> That's fine. I will come back later and uh, I'll print another sticker and put it here. Um, this one is called Bright Floral and it's super cute again. Um, I used one of her kits in my catch-all last month, um, so not this planner, but the one, the one. So let's just wipe these out. Now, normally I don't convert this planner to a Monday to Sunday start, but I actually printed the wrong ones so we're just gonna go with it because it doesn't really matter um she's not gonna mind then 
think I'll have to white out. Yeah. So I know a lot of people are switching um, to the Recollections Planner. So if that is how you found me today, welcome. I have been using this planner since the beginning of the year for my daughter's memory keeper. I am really, really liking it. Um, the only reason that I'm not switching to one uh, for my catch-all is that, so the only difficulty that I have with this planner at all, I don't even know if I cut that, um, is that it doesn't have lines like down the side of the weekly boxes. So like down here. Um, and sometimes I find it hard to plan because I'm not good at lining things up. Uh, but that is literally the only thing that has given me any kind of pause with this planner. Um, other than that, I love it. I do wish that I had gotten an 18 month planner and taken out six months because the coil on this planner is even uh, smaller than the um, than the Erin Condren one and like we all know that that one gets um, thick enough with stickers on it so if I were to use um, a recollections planner again which I totally would um, in the future I would likely get an 18 month one in the middle of the year and then start it in January and just rip out the first six months. As it stands right now, I don't know exactly what my, I'm probably going to continue doing memory keeping for my daughter um, next year because I like doing it and next year's a big year, she's going into middle school. Um, and I'm certainly glad that I started it this year because I mean, what a year of her life to have documented. Um, but I don't know yet how, like what I'm going to, to use for it. I have been thinking about potentially um, trying my hand at bullet journaling. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna, white these out. I don't think I'll need to white out the others because they're pretty dark. So once again, let me go number this and I'll be right back. Back, date dots are down. I love that these kits include um, the numbers for like the end of the month before and the beginning of the month uh, after in a lighter color. I just think that's such a nice um, addition. All right, so there won't be tons to mark in here because uh, you know, pandemic and all, but I will mark, actually, before I do that, let me put washi down to indicate where she is on given days. Okay, I went to grab some other washi, um, because if I have one that I can use consistently, I'd rather do that. Um, this has, this spread has brought it to my attention that I really don't have any sort of orangey washi. Um, I do have a lot of pink and green and I'm sure I have aqua somewhere, but it's not really hanging out here. So, except for, oh, you know what, that one doesn't that one almost matches the date dots. Let's use this one. And I think it'll be a bit lighter once it goes on as well. I don't know if you guys have ever seen um, Desiree from Happy to Plan. Um, if you haven't seen her videos, go see them. That girl can lay down washi like nobody's business.
All right, so let me, uh, what am I going to add here? I'm going to add, let's add this to show she's at her mom's. This. Oh, I guess I should put that here. That to show she's with us. And then another one here to mark going back to her mom's. All right, so there's not much to add um, for her this month. Um, we'll put this here for Canada Day. We will mark down my brother's birthday here since it's her uncle. Whoops. Okay. We will mark down my uncle's birthday, so her great uncle, there. I'll mark down the dog's grooming appointment because it's just something to mark down. <laughs> All right, and then the dog's birthday. So let's do that one in. Can I get that in there? Just barely. All right, that is all that needs to go on her calendar for now. Um, I am gonna have to stick the July sticker on there at some point once I print it. I don't know how I did that. I knew I was setting up for July. Um, I think that looks really colorful and cute though, and I am happy with it. So that is all the setup that we are doing in this planner. Okay, next up we have my Skinny Classic, which um, again, I'm not gonna do tons of setup in today, but there are a couple things that I do wanna do. So I don't have a decal yet, I'm gonna print out one for myself. Um, this one goes from July to June. I think I'm gonna take out the second um, six months. So for now, we're gonna take out January to June. Uh, because again, I think that these discs will get pretty full. set those aside I will put them on another set of discs to keep them safe and then the next thing that I want to do is add in some monthly pages so I did show you guys uh, in my um, lineup video what that was sort of going to look like but I had not actually it was a different sheet that I had in there so now I've got this one I did date these before I even started because it was a whole thing they didn't print properly they didn't cut at all i had to cut each individual one it took me 900 hours so <laughs> i decided to do that before i started um in this monthly spread what i'm going to mark down are um etsy uh important dates and uh, probably magazine dates as well just so that I would got those in I know I put my deadline in my catch-all but I do want to make sure that I when I'm looking at this to sort of plan releases and designing um, it's not interfering with my um, magazine stuff so this is six months of calendars that I put in here um, because I figured that was enough to start. So to decorate this spread, I pulled the um, Floral Memories 
uh, memory keeping sticker book from the Happy Planner. This is sized for a big planner, like some of these boxes are enormous. I'm not gonna be using those. What I do wanna use are these flowers here. Um, so these pages here and that's why these dots are these colors because they match sort of um, the colors in here so I did I took a picture of one of the pages and then tried to match the color as best I could um, so that's like one of those lighter pinks and then this is sort of a shade of pink a uh, shade of aqua in there okay it's a million hours later <laughs> um, I had to pause because um, I had a meeting on Zoom that I needed to join. Um, so I literally had to stop and turn on a dime and pivot. Um, but now I am back. So <laughs> like I said, let's decorate this spread. I'm thinking about... So I said I want to use these stickers here um and i think so i've never done this before but i think i want to go down the middle of the page with them um maybe so i've grabbed some wax paper to see if i can do this because i'm not 100 percent convinced that i can and because it's a monthly spread I need to make sure that I'm not covering up too much of the boxes because this is meant to be functional as well so might need to start with the smaller ones so let's just grab one and put it down and see what we think I've never done anything like this before. So I cannot tell you that I am confident it will work. All I can tell you is that I am at least committed to trying. <laughs> So the question is really going to be, am I brave enough to do this on the paper? Oh, well this might make it easier. Okay, we are committed. So let's keep going. Okay, let's cut this carefully. Okay. So that is cute. We just need to re-punch it now. My happy planner punch is struggling these days. Um, oops. And I sharpened it today, but I think it's still struggling. So, looks like I have some cleanup to do along these edges. I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, my punch, I think, is 
on its last legs. There's a couple holes here that um, I think got punched a little bit wonky, so we'll have to see how it fits back on the discs, but I think it's going to be okay. Now that I look at it, so I love it, first of all. Um, it's making me want to put flowers all the way around here and I kind of think I'm going to like I've had these sticker books for years and I haven't used them so I think I'm just gonna get brave and do it Okay, that, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of in love. I'm kind of surprised that I did it. Um, it's very unlike me, but I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm okay with the fact that July is kind of covered up because I just don't think it's that big deal. So now all I need to do is add in a couple of these dots where I know I have things. The problem here is that I have something on the 10th and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to trim this sticker now can I get part of it up maybe I can just trim off of that one there we go Okay, so we are going to put that there to mark my deadline, um, and I guess we'll put one on the first for that as well, just so I remember to keep it in mind, and then for Etsy releases, we know it will have one here and and that is actually about all we're gonna mark for now because I don't actually know I'm I'm hoping to have one other release maybe maybe this day here but I don't know for sure yet okay so. let's put this back in the planner make sure it goes back on oh my goodness I'm I mean I'm kind of in love with that Holy cow. Okay, I have a couple dividers for this planner as well. If I can find them now. So I've got a monthly one. Where are they fitting funny? I think they're just flimsy. I used um, three mil lamination for this one instead of the five mil, and that's probably why. Okay, and then we're gonna put one here. So this is the first week we're gonna plan. So there we go with that one. That looks cute with the tabs on the top. And then I can flip right to it. All right, last step is my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, we are going a totally different theme with this one. We're doing a Canada Day theme, um, which is kind of exciting. These are left over from the last um, time I used a, a Plan for Happy monthly kit, so I can pull from those. Um, but let's just get started here. Now, um, in my planner lineup video, I talked about how this isn't going to be my on-the-go planner anymore. Um, it's going to be like a life log. <laughs> it's getting hard to put these down in here too. Um, so I will not be marking 
tons down in here uh, because I want to leave space to write and make notes. I think this fits pretty perfectly, doesn't it? Now, if I remember, yeah, this one only has the functional boxes for the bottom, which is fine. Um, I also have Canada Day themed kits for um, all of my planners except for the Skinny Classic um, for the uh this week here so that'll be fun all right let's get these down this is one of um plan for happy's old format kits that were gone from the store for a long time and then recently they came back and i had never seen this one before uh so when i saw it i immediately snapped it up um, because finding like I couldn't find a Canada Day themed monthly at all um, in printable format anyway uh, for any of the other planner sizes All right, let's throw down just a couple boxes here and we'll pull the Canada Day, where is it, sticker from here. Okay, oh, and we can also pull the July. 2020. Oh, there's one that says Canada Day. Hold up. Just trying to decide if I want to mark anything else in here. I'll mark the dog's birthday. <laughs> because I have my priorities straight. So I think I only have two sets of balloons, so I can't mark the other two birthdays unless oh, there is a present, though. Is there more than one? Mark my brothers with the, um, the balloons and then my uncles with the present. And then I think I'll put these down on the days that um, my daughter will be coming back from her, like going or coming. Uh, sorry, so this day she'll come home and this day she will go to her mom's. And then I think I will just put this one here to mark the <clears throat> releases. Maybe we'll add a bow. Alright, that is going to be it. As the month goes on, I'll come back and add in various things depending on what happened. Um, and I'll also be marking stuff down and journaling a little bit in my, in the weekly pages as well. All right, give me a second to get cleaned up here. Okay, so we did my Hobonichi Weeks, my Skinny Classic, which 
Oh my god, beautiful. My daughter's memory keeper and my A5 wide catch-all on discs. Okay, that was a lot. We just prepped four planners, including one that we assembled from scratch. So well done us. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and don't forget to check me out over on Instagram and Etsy at A Pretty Planscape. I'll see you all again soon. Bye friends.